also want to say how many grooves there are and what the spacing is. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on one, click on the other one, and you can see it says 0.1. So I'm just going to go ahead and maybe place that over here somewhere. Well, I want to say it's 0.1 spacing. So I'm going to double click on this dimension and you'll notice that it kind of puts the dimension in these brackets and then you see the flashing eye bar. What that means is I can come in here and add more text, right? So notice what it's doing. It's adding that text after the dimension. Now here is a cool tip. If you want to remember anything from today, it's how do I create a second line? Because if I were to hit enter right now, it would just accept my dimension. Well, to add a second line, you'll hold down shift and hit enter. And notice I'm now down in a second line. So again, holding down shift and hitting enter, I can now come in here and say spacing, for example. And I get my dimension. I can move this where I want. Let's just go maybe something up here. And we can see that I was able to add a second line of text. I can add as many lines as I want. I could hit shift enter again, you know, shift enter again, etc., and add as many lines as I want. Okay, so shift enter is how you add in the extra line.